Hey guys and welcome back to Mother and Daughter Cooking. Today, step by step, we are going to be teaching you how to make the best palapo. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will start off with our meat ingredients. Now our first ingredient will be a tablespoon of chicken bouillon and a tablespoon of beef bouillon, along with a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt. And the ground pork that we will be using today is 85% lean plus 15% fat. Now we will go ahead and add our ground pork to the pot along with 4 cups of water to cook our meat. Now we will first cook this on medium heat and we will remove any scum that floats on top while we break apart our meat. Then we will add our 4 ingredients that we will season our meat with and we will cover this for 30 minutes on low heat or until the meat is cooked. Now that our meat is cooked, we are going to add this to a separate bowl and what we like to do is put it in the food processor so that way you get even sizes of pork and this is what it should look like after processing. Now moving on with our sauce, we are going to start off with two mamacita palabo mix, one packet of esuete powder, one can of cream of mushroom with roasted garlic, along with a cream of chicken and mushroom, and another cream of mushroom with roasted garlic. And then we have one and one half cups of chopped onion, along with 10 cloves of garlic that was sliced into tiny pieces. And then lastly, we have one cube each of beef bouillon, shrimp bouillon, and pork bouillon. And now we will prepare our shrimp broth using one cup of shrimp heads. We will begin to crush the heads of the shrimp like this. And after all the shrimp heads are crushed, we will add one cup of water. Doing this method, you will add a lot of flavor to your palapa. And finally, we will strain this in a strainer and here is your shrimp broth. And now taking two packets of Mamacita Palabok mix, we are going to dilute this into two cups of water and mix that thoroughly. Now that our prep work is done, we will now begin to cook our sauce. We are going to add our 10 cloves of minced garlic into our pan. Halfway into cooking, we like to apply pressure to maximize the flavorness that the garlic can provide. Cook that until golden brown and now we can add our onions. After cooking that for a few minutes, we are going to put that to the side and add one and a half cups of defrosted frozen shrimp and one cup of fresh shrimp. You can also use all fresh shrimp. We just used fresh shrimp to make our shrimp broth. Cook that about halfway and then mix everything together. After mixed thoroughly, we are also going to push that to the side and add our ground pork. To ensure that our ground pork won't become dry, we are adding about 1 4th cup of olive oil and now we will continue to mix thoroughly and we will also put that to the side. Then we will combine 1 tablespoon of olive oil along with half a packet of asuete powder. Dilute thoroughly into the olive oil and now we will combine that all together evenly. Now with our magic set up, we will sprinkle about half of that packet into our pan. And now for our toppings, we're going to take about half of this to put on top of our palapok. Then the rest of this will go into the palapok sauce. Now we're going to go ahead and add 4 cloves of garlic and go ahead and mix that, again applying pressure to maximize the flavor. Now we added our onions and we are going to go ahead and mix that all together. And now we will add the rest of our magic setup, mixing that thoroughly. And go ahead and add the rest of our asuete powder. And now we are going to mix everything together thoroughly. And here we are adding 2 cups of water along with the 2 packets of palabok mix 
and we're gonna add that to our palabok sauce, along with two cans of cream of mushroom with roasted garlic, and one can of cream of chicken with mushroom. And now we are adding our shrimp broth right here, mixing that thoroughly, and now adding a fourth of a cup of chicharron that we blended in a food processor. Here we are adding our shrimp, pork, and beef bouillon right into our sauce. Continue to mix this until fully diluted. And now here is the pork broth that we cooked our ground pork in. We are going to add about half a cup of flour and mix that. And also add one packet of palabok mix and mix that also thoroughly. Then we will pour this into our palabok sauce adding extra flavor and taste. Continue to mix until your palabok sauce has thickened just like this. And this is how you know that your palabok sauce is done. Moving on with our noodles, here's the brand that we will be using and we're going to go ahead and put this into boiling water. Cook for 15 to 20 minutes or until fully cooked. Finally, we are preparing to put on our toppings. We're going to be using about 5 sticks of these green onions from our garden and chopping that into small pieces. And here I will list the toppings that we have used to top off our palabok. Add all of your ingredients together and here's your final product. Thank you for watching this video on mother and daughter cooking and we'll see you next time in our next video.